Hello students, this is Dr. Amarpreet Kaur, a lecturer from Jammu and Kashmir Education Department. In this lecture, I am going to discuss about biofertilizers. We all know that from many years, our farmers, they use chemical fertilizers in their fields to enhance the mineral quality of the soil. But it has led to many problems. For example, it has created not only the water pollution, but also pollution of soil and air also. Because some of the fertilizers, they are volatile and they get mixed with air. Another problem which is associated with the use of chemical fertilizers is pH. The pH of soil, it is altered with the usage of chemical fertilizers. And it is very important to note that optimum pH is important for everything okay not only for the living organisms but also for soil to perform better activities biofertilizers they are the living organisms that enhance the nutrient quality of soil the main organisms which are included in biofertilizers are bacteria, fungi and cyanobacteria. Let's discuss them one by one. Firstly, bacteria. From your 8th standard, you have been studying that rhizobium is very important for the farmers. Why it is important? Because it forms a symbiotic relationship with uh, leguminous plants okay pea plant and it fixes nitrogen atmospheric nitrogen okay in the root nodules of pea plant or any plant which belongs to leguminous family other bacteria which are free living for example Azosperlum and azobacter, they can fix nitrogen and they increase the nitrogen content in soil. Coming to the fungi. Fungi, they form a symbiotic association with higher plants, with angiosperms. And this association, it is known as mycorrhiza. Fungal partner, they absorb phosphorus from soil and passes it to plants. And plants having such association also shows resistance to root-borne pathogen. The plants which were having a kind of association with fungi, okay, they are also tolerant to salinity and drought. Their overall growth increases. Okay. And in return what fungi is getting. Is getting shelter and food from the plants. Okay. There are two types of mycorrhiza uh, relationship. One is actomycorrhiza. Another is endomycorrhiza. Acto as it is very prevalent from the name. It means from outside. Hyphae is the structure of fungus, okay? It is like interwoven net. It forms uh, a hyphae or a, a net-like structure from the outside of root. What it does? It does absorption. It increases the absorption of water and mineral okay where it is present it is present in pinus and oak the mycorrhiza it absorbs many nutrients like nitrogen phosphorus potassium and calcium now endomycorrhiza the fungal hyphae which penetrate into the cortex of cell roots these are called vesicular arbuscular mycorrhiza or VAM. 
when the fungi it enters in the cortical cells of roots of the plant what happens the cortical cells they become swollen and they form vesicles these vesicles are also known as orbes cules that is why the endomycorrhiza is known as vesicular or vascular mycorrhiza it's very significant for the plants because it absorbs phosphorus from the soil coming to the cyanobacteria cyanobacteria they are autotrophic bacteria and they are widely distributed uh, they have aquatic and terrestrial kind of habitat um, system okay and they can fix atmospheric nitrogen examples of cyanobacteria are anabena nostoc oscillatoria okay in paddy field cyanobacteria you must have seen uh, usually in paddy fields there is a layer of a green carpet okay they are cyanobacteria and if you touch that uh, that that mat it gives a feeling of puffiness i myself uh, belong to a agrarian family so i have experienced such feeling so you also can do it so this layer it is made up of cyanobacteria or blue green algae and they act as a fertilizers currently there are many bio fertilizers which are commercially available in market in the form of sachets so the farmers they are purchasing and applying uh, in their fields to enhance the soil nutrients and reduce the pollution of fertilizers chemical fertilizers with this i have completed this topic if you have any question um you can visit my website that is www.amarpreetkaur.com